Four days after Dylan Roof was found guilty of shooting and killing nine people inside Emanuel AME back in June of 2015, Judge Richard Gurgle canceled a hearing set for Friday after Dylan Roof gave him a handwritten note. It reads, I, Dylan Roof, withdraw the notice relating to presenting mental health mitigation through expert testimony. I will not be calling mental health experts or presenting mental health evidence. For many, the guilty verdict was not a surprise considering Roof confessed to the crime, but evidence shown for the first time during the trial was shocking to most. News 2's Ashley Yost has more on the evidence from Emanuel AME Church. I had to do it. Dylan Roof's own confession of guilt. We watched as Dylan Roof described and even showed the agents how he did it. Yeah, it was just like, you know, did it like this or just feel like. You know, and just started shooting him. Yeah. The first witness was one of the three survivors, Felicia Sanders. She described watching those friends and family murdered, soaking herself in her aunt and her son's blood so Roof would think she was already dead. These things we'd heard when Carolyn Murray interviewed she and Polly Shepard last year. But for the first time, we saw the crime scene photos matching the gruesome images to her graphic words. Sanders' testimony ended broken by sobs when she said, I watched my boy come into this world and I watched him leave this world. And we heard a glimpse of this mother and son's final moments together when the government played for the first time the recording of Polly Shepard's 911 call. He shot the pastor, he shot all the men in the church, please come right away. And then the video Roof took of himself practicing with the murder weapon the day before he unloaded 74 bullets. Flowers outside Emanuel AME Church tonight and the sentencing phase, where a jury will decide if Dylan Roof gets the death penalty or life in prison, will start on January 3rd. Dylan Roof has opted to represent himself. And a lot of you have had questions about this phase, posting on our Facebook page and tweeting at me. The main one, how long will it take? So I went to Capitol Defense Attorney Chris Adams, who has experience with these kinds of cases. He said the length is really unknown. He's had cases where the sentencing phase lasted one day, some as much as three weeks. What he does know is anything about Dylan Roof's life or background is relevant. So former teachers, family members, former co-workers could all be called as witnesses. Whether Dylan Roof will is another story. In downtown Charleston, Ashley Yost, News 2.